Ha, ha, ha. I'm taking a quick little break here, and I just wanted to show you what I'm eating. Uh, there's real homemade butter on here, and I'm gonna show you how to make some. Actually, a friend of mine is gonna show on my channel, believe it or not, how to make butter. And she does a really good job on it. And I'm using organic peanut butter on here. And I love peanut butter, by the way. And I'm gonna put some honey on here. But this is some honey that I don't know if you've ever quite seen it before. It's a type of honey. See, most of the honey that I see at stores is, is the clover honey that is clear and it's pourable. Well, this stuff here is un unpourable and it has a different property in it. This is like organic or something that's real. What's the deal with this honey? This honey comes from either uh, Colorado or Montana and, and, and the bees have a wonderful, huge, huge area to uh, gather their pollen and uh, this is natural. It's clover honey. And it is clover honey, it's but, clover but it's honey. not but they haven't like boiled it and cooked it to death, right? It hasn't been processed, it hasn't been heated, it hasn't been filtered. So you're getting all the properties that the bees use you know, to, uh, to, uh, to get from point A to point B. Because this is what they eat to give them strength energy you know, to go gather the pollen to make more honey. And this honey is just wonderful, natural, and typically it's really solid and you have to dig it out. Yeah. But this is a couple of years <laughs> my, my actual question is, if a viewer wants to get honey like this, is there anywhere they can get it locally around their area? Because it's really good honey, and this is the type of honey I think people should have. Not that clover honey that has already been cooked. Because you said something, you know, when you cook that honey, when, when they boil it and everything, they're taking the life out of the honey, right? It pasteurizes it, and this honey... You can eat this honey and it gives you a lot of strength, a lot of energy. Mm -hmm. So, I think I've seen some honey kind of like this. I don't know if they call it organic honey at like a health food store. And it was actually kind of whitish. Well, you know the stores and you can find the honey that is solid. Uh huh. And that will be the honey that's not been heated or treated or okay. filtered. So that's the answer I was looking for. Get something that's solid at the store. If you can't find it next to the honey, the regular honey that you can see through, that's kind of the golden color, that's pourable. Ask somebody, ask a salesperson there, and maybe they don't carry it. Maybe you're going to have to go to a, an actual health food store talk around, ask some questions, and I'm sure somebody will figure it out. So we've got some good honey here, organic peanut butter, and I actually put some honey in my coffee, by the way. <coughs> what, did you want to say something else? Actually, when honey's been heated, it just becomes a very expensive sweetener, just like sugar, just, uh, just like agave that's been, it's just been killed. Okay. Makes sense. Now you told me earlier you're gonna make some milk. Or admit, make some milk. You're, you're gonna make some butter. And you're gonna show that to me. We're gonna show that in a different video. Are you gonna be up to that? Of course. Yeah, this is gonna be really interesting because there's all kinds of stuff you can make with cream. What did, what did you say you can make with all this different cream? Well, you can make uh Butter. You can make cultured butter. You can make sour cream. Whipped cream. And whipped cream, right? No? Uh, oh, if you put sugar in it. Yeah. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Yeah. Okay. That'll be another time. I guess I better eat this so I can get back to work. Yeah. One more thing with honey like this. If you're feeling like you need a little shot of energy in the middle of the day or something like that, take a spoonful of this type of honey. Oh, watch out. 